right guys in this video I'm going to show you how to create the anaconda environment and then setting up our PyCharm okay so let's get started so I'm on my anaconda command prompt and if you don't know how to get here or what you need to do is go to your start and type anaconda I'm gonna get the command prompt okay so from here I need to type let's say conda conda yenvilas now, the, now this is going to show you all the um, environments you currently have. Okay, let's see. So I should get only one because I only have the primary, which is the base, which is by default installed by the Anaconda. Okay, so don't get confused. Base is your, you could think as the uh, primary environment, right? That's that's where everything, the good things happens. So imagine you have a couple of projects, right? You have a couple of projects. It's better not to use the base. The reason is you want to create a unique environment for each and every project. The reason is each project is different, right? And the packages you're using is different. So this way, it's better off you creating a new environment for each and every individual project so you could manage all the dependencies, okay? That's the primary reason. So now I'm going to create a new environment. To do that, I need to say, Conda create name. Okay, I'm going to give the name, which is Vista Python. And I need to tell which version of Python I'm going to use. So I'm going to use 3.5. Okay, now it's going to create the environment. It might take about 5 10 minutes. Okay, it's fast. Okay, print proceed yes. Okay, verifying. Okay, I think you're almost done. Yeah, it's done. Now let's take a look at our list environments we have. This time it should say two, right? We have the base and we have the best of Python. Excellent. Now the question is how are we going to activate, right? How are we going to activate the uh, best of Python? To activate it, you should say activate ACT, is it ACTIVATE? Activate best of Python. Okay. There you are. I already activated the best of Python. Now, if I want to deactivate, all I have to say is just deactivate, right? Deactivate. There you go. I'm back to base. So that's how you actually go back and forth on the environments. So if you if you prefer to work on your command prompt or the terminal, this is how you do it. But well, this is not very convenient, right? When you work on the large project, but we want to use a tool such as a PyCharm. So let's see how we can, uh, we can set up the PyCharm for this environment, best of Python. All right, great. So let's go ahead and set up our PyCharm for our first project. To do that, let's go and click on new project and select where you install this project. So I have already created a uh, folder called best of Python. I'm going to go inside here and I'm going to create a new folder, Python tutorial for beginners. Okay, close that one out. Let's go here to C drive, users, snowball desktop. Okay, desktop. And I'm gonna select the folder I just created. Great. Now it tells me, okay, you don't have a Python interpreter selected. Well, let's go ahead and do that. So click on existing interpreter, click on that button to browse, click on Anaconda and select browse again. Let's go to C drive and users snowball and let's look for anaconda 3 right here and let's look for environments right here envs okay and select best of python and make sure you select python.exe okay and click on ok and it's ask you whether if you would like to make uh, this environment available for all the projects well we don't want to do that the primary reason why we are um, creating virtual environments so we can make it unique for individual projects okay so that's the reason so let's go and click on OK okay it looks good and let's click on create all right seems like everything is fine let's go here I'm gonna create a new Python file let's call it hello world and click on OK and let's say print 
hello world. Okay, file save. Let's run this. Great, look at this, hello world, it works. And as you see, we have a, actually we are using, right? We are using best of Python environment, right? Makes sense. Now, one more thing for you guys to, um, well, this is one thing you should know, is how to manage your packages, right? So if you remember earlier, let's go to Anaconda prompt. We said what, um, we wanna activate the best of Python, right? Let's do that and let's take a look at all our, all our packages we have. You see the packages we have, right? And take a look at here. So let's go to file settings and uh, click on Python interpreter. It's under the project, okay? And you're gonna see all the packages we have here. What we are uh, by default, what was installed when we created the virtual environment and compare with this list, right? That's the same thing, isn't it? So easily, if you wanna add a package, you can do it from here. You click on this plus sign and you can select any of these packages you like and click on install package. But um, I'm not going to cover the package management in this video, but in the future lectures, actually, I'm going to do everything step by step. So nothing to worry about it, okay? And this is how you guys um, create a Python environment and setting up the PyCharm for your development, okay? So um, hope you got this far right. And if you have any questions, please comment below and please subscribe to this channel. And I'm going to see you guys in the future lectures, okay? Bye-bye.